Hey, what's going on guys? Jake the Happy Snake here and welcome to part 30 of Pokemon Emerald. Last time I took on the Fort Tree Gym and I successfully got my 6th Gym Badge. And now that I have 6 badges, I can fly to any city that I have been to already. So that's kind of nice. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't fly to any of these cities, which makes perfect sense because I haven't been to any of these cities yet. But um, yeah, so now that we can fly to any um, any city that, that we've been to already, I'm actually going to go back to Little Root Town because there's an item that you can get that I really, really want. And I highly suggest that you get this item because it's really, really nice. Uh, we actually have to go back inside our house and talk to our mom. So let's go ahead and talk to her. Um, oh, yeah. So first, first she registers you in... The Pokenav, um, which is kind of pointless because I don't think you'll ever need to call her. Um, but once you talk to her again, she will give you something. Or she won't give you something. Okay, that's kind of embarrassing. Um, yeah, so my... <laughs> that's kind of funny. Uh, so I need to get rid of... Okay, why the heck do I have these stupid mails? Like, seriously. They're like 50 poker dollars at the... At, yeah, if you sell these things, you'll get like 25 poker dollars, which is stupid. Um, so I don't need them. I don't need this X attack. So there we go. But anyways, okay, so now we can talk to her and She will give you the amulet coin, which is a really nice item. Basically uh, When your Pokemon is holding the amulet coin uh, You will get double the money at the end of that battle, which is awesome um, I actually have a have a strategy that I always use and a lot of other people use it as well It's it's actually a very smart strategy, but basically at the end of every battle just switch it just get, just take it out of the Pokemon if that's currently holding it, and put it, put it on the next, on the, on another Pokemon that you're going to use in the next battle. Therefore, you will always get double money at the end of every battle. So, what am I doing? I don't want to toss that. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm clearly not thinking properly. Okay, so I'll use Mudstorm first. Uh, so we'll give it to Mudstorm, and we will fly back to Fortree. And the, actually, before I started recording this. I actually knew that there was two things I wanted to do um, at the beginning of this video. One of them was what we just did, was to go back and get the amulet coin. But the other thing, I actually cannot remember what it is, and hopefully it's not too important. Um, I can't actually remember what it was that I wanted to do, but uh, yeah, I guess we'll just have to forget about it. He talked to this guy, he'll say that he, see, he, he saw a gigantic Pokemon in the sky. Uh, it seemed to square him as it flew toward Route 131. Um, no, I don't want to talk to you again! Get away from me! There, okay. Alright, so now we can continue on. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw a muscle in the front of my party. Um, just in case we have a double battle, we'll throw Betty in the second slot. Okay, it is time to move on. I don't think there's any, anything interesting down here. Uh, what does this chick want? Alright, so, nothing. Like, you know, that's fine. That makes total sense. Uh, there is an item down here. That we can't get to because there is a Kecleon in the way. And we're gonna battle it! So some of these guys you battle... battle so some of these guys you battle, some of them you don't. Um, maybe I'll try to catch this guy. I think I... Didn't I try to catch the last one? Or something? Uh, so maybe I'll try to catch him. I don't want to kill him. This is the only way you can catch Kecleon in the game, actually, so... Yeah, you don't want to screw it up. If you do want one for whatever reason, you don't want to screw it up. All right. Uh, great ball, sure. One, two, three, yeah. All right. I'm not gonna give. I'm not gonna give him a nickname because I'm not gonna be using him. I just. I don't know. So it's just like, just thought you might as well, you know, we might as well catch him because, you know, like I said, it's the only way you can get Kecleon in the game. Um, nest, there's a nest ball down here. Um, we can surf over here. I don't actually remember what is over here, but we can surf. Uh, what is this? Huh. Sunny day. Hmm. I actually forgot about this place. I never surfed down in that area, so... Oh sure, what am I doing? Um, yeah, I never, uh, I never surfed down in that area, so yeah, that's actually kind of funny. I was like, why is there like an open cave here? Um, but yeah, you get a TM for sunny day. Um, like I said, I'd never go down there. I haven't been down there in a long time. 
Uh, we battled the reporters last time. Or not last time, but the time before that. Uh, I skipped this trainer last time, so we're gonna battle him now. Uh, yes, my Pokemon are actually very strong! Thank you for noticing! <clears throat> Swa- You say your Pokemon is strong, but you only have one Swablu? I mean, I guess that could be considered strong, but... Definitely no match against my team. Look at that, one hit KO. Alright. Did he say- I didn't actually catch that. Did he say that his Pokemon were stronger? Because if that's true, you're actually a freaking idiot. <laughs> uh, I didn't actually catch what he said. Um, anyways, yeah, so um, a couple of videos ago, we came over here and um, Steven was here to give us the um, the Devon Scope, or, or whatever the heck it's called. Uh, actually, I'm pretty sure it is the Devon Scope. Um, but we can, um, yeah, that, so now now that that that, 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 that that he that the Kecleon that was blocking the way before when uh, that was blocking that bridge now that he's gone we can um we can finally go go by now and the everything i said in the last 30 seconds made no sense so i'm really sorry okay here we go time to take down this wingle not to interesting yeah, I've thought for the longest while... Actually, I said this in the last part when we fight, fought an, uh, Zatu, but... I thought for the longest while that Natu and Zatu were Hoenn Pokemon. And then I somehow, I don't know, saw a video of someone battling um, the, the um, Elite, Four, uh, Elite Four Will in Gold and Silver, and he had a Zatu, and I was like, oh wow, Zatu must be a Gen 2 Pokemon. I didn't I know I didn't know that, though, because when I first played this game, I, I figured that Zatu and Natu were both Gen... Uh, Gen 3 Pokemon, but nope, apparently not. Okay, so let's uh, we'll see. We got a couple of double battles here. You see, I, yeah, I knew exactly. What, I you can see, whenever you see like a fake tree, you always know that it's a stupid ninja boy. You can always tell. So yeah, you might want to find a new hiding spot there, buddy. All right, Ninkada and Meditate. Okay, Meditate's not bad, but why does this guy have a Ninkada? Like. Seriously, Ninkadas are stupid. Oh goody, and it's raining. Which isn't actually a big deal, but whatever. Okay, so, let's go with Headbutt on you. Oh, you're gonna detect! That's fantastic. Stupid Meditai, why do you have to detect? Okay, don't detect again, please. Oh, goody, a coughing. Okay. Do not detect again, please. Thank you. Um. Okay. Yeah, baby, level 38. Oh, look at that. All right. <laughs> Camouflage, my shame. Two th 2016 uh, uh, Poké Dollars, that's kind of funny, because that year was two years ago. Uh, Atom's Life has a new item. A Great Ball, nice. Okay, so let's move Metal Face to the second slot, and then we'll move Betty to the front. And this is what I was talking about my strategy before. I will take the Amulet Coin from Mudstorm, and I will give it to Betty! Um, yeah, that's that's my strategy, and a lot of people use that, use the strategy, because, I mean, it's a, it's a very, it's a, it's a wise thing to do. I mean, it, you know, it's a, it, if you want a lot of money, I mean, I don't really need a lot of money, but by the time I get to the Elite Four, I, I like to buy, I'm not even joking, I like to buy, like, 70 Hyper Potions, which is overkill, but I just want to be as prepared as I can be. So, if the more money we have, the better, personally. Okay, Parasol Lady, um... What kind of a name is that? Or maybe I'm just an idiot. <laughs> I don't know. That's not a name you see very often. I don't want to pronounce it just in case I, pr I completely butcher it, but... Ooh, a cast form, nice. 
I've actually used cast form before. I think I like one of my first playthroughs of the game. Um, it's not the smartest idea because it's not that good of a Pokemon. Um, but if I ever do decide to do a Sapphire playthrough, then I might consider using cast form. Because if I ever do a Sapphire playthrough, it's going to be like a joke playthrough, and I'm going to use like Pokemon you know you wouldn't normally use. Um, but it's a very interesting Pokemon. It has like moves like Rain Dance and Sunny Day and Hail and yeah, it's got some. in each, um, basically, uh, each time you use one of the moves, it changes form. Or every time it's like so. Right now it's raining outside of battle, so he turns into his water form. Or if he used Rain Dance, he would also turn into his water form. Um, but if he uses Sunny Day, he turns into his fire form. And if he uses Hail, he turns into his ice form. Or cloud. I don't really remember. It's a yeah. You don't see that his his other form very often. I don't really remember what it looks like, but it yeah. You see it when he uses hail. All right, get out of here, Minetric. Thunder, thunder, feel thunder, lightning in the thunder. I actually cannot stand that song. Oh my goodness, are you serious? Alright. Thank you, Metal Face. You are you are a gentleman in the scholar. And that is something I've never said in any of my videos. Uh, anyways. Got these guys out of the way. I've completely ruined your beauty. <laughs> um, I think the rain would actually do that more than me. Anyways, I'm actually going to... Um... We gotta revive. Uh, there, I'm actually gonna end off the video. I know it seems pretty early. I want to avoid this trainer at all costs. This trainer is a actually big annoyance that I don't want to deal with right now. So I hope I don't encounter her, please. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'll deal with her. I I'll, I'll fight her in the next video. Um, I'm just trying to make up for that 37-minute video I had a while ago when I was going through the sandstorm earlier. Um, I'm just trying to make it for that, so that's why this video is going to be on the shorter side. But anyways, we have Asper Berries. We have three of them, so let's just get this out of the way. I don't even know what these do, actually. They might be like a Pokeblock thing, I guess. I don't really know. Um, where are they? Oh, oh, the Defrost Pokemon. Okay, cool. Nice. So there we go, guys. Uh, yeah, that's actually the end of this video. Like I said, I apologize that it's on the shorter side, but I'm just trying to make up for a lot of my videos that were, like, over a half an hour long. So next time, we're going to take on more trainers. This route is actually pretty long, so it'll probably take another two or three videos to get through this route. So, yeah, so thanks guys for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all next time. Peace!